This is a ShopBot technical support video where we will cover the different gauges and pressure adjustments there are on an ATC tool. Here we have the main air manifold, which has a pressure gauge, the incoming air hose, and the outgoing air hose. This main pressure gauge should be set at 100 psi or 7 bar. To adjust the pressure if needed, there is a knob on top. This gray knob can be popped up first. Once popped up, it can be turned counterclockwise to decrease the pressure or clockwise to increase the pressure. Once the pressure is set at 100 psi or 7 bar or above, pop it back in to lock in the pressure setting. This is the pressure switch dial. This should not need to be adjusted unless after everything else is hooked up and is receiving the correct pressure, the green button on the spindle is not lit up or the drawbar on the spindle does not actuate. We can pop this switch out and turn it counterclockwise about four turns, pop it back in, and then test the green switch to see if it works. If not, pop it back out and give it four more turns and repeat. A final note on this main air manifold, there are two separators with releases at the bottom of each. There is an oil filter and a water filter. To expel the oil, simply push up on the release and it will expel air and oil under pressure. The same procedure is done with the water filter, push up and expel anything inside. This is the pressure regulator, which has a primary gauge that should be set to 100 psi or 7 bar. If the pressure needs to be adjusted, there is a gray dial on the other side of the bracket the regulator attaches to. Turning this dial counterclockwise will increase the pressure, turning it clockwise will decrease the pressure. Here the air then travels to the solenoids. The solenoids have a small gauge which should be set to 60 psi, which is read as 6 tenths on this gauge. The adjustment dial is located opposite of the gauge with a notched screw that can be turned counterclockwise to decrease the pressure and clockwise to increase the pressure. There are two mounting bolts on the top and two on the bottom of the solenoids that can be removed to more easily adjust the screw.